Welcome back, reception friends. This is Miss Anna, and this is our last part of maths lesson on daytime, nighttime, and telling the time. Did you ever hear a grown up, maybe your parent or your grandparent, saying, Hurry up, we don't have that much time? Or maybe someone said to you, I don't want to waste my time. People, grown ups, talk about the time a lot. And time is very important to them because the time passes, the time moves. The more time passes, the older we get. You are also growing. The more time passes, the older you get. How can we tell what time it is? What can tell us what time it is? You're right, a clock. This is a clock. Also, some people use watches. They put them on their hands so they can always check on time and see maybe they are late or maybe they have a little bit of time to just relax, rest. So this is the clock and a clock is going to, a clock tells us what time it is. Hmm, a clock has a face. What shape is the clock's face? This one. That's right, it's a circle. So my clock is the shape of a circle. Also, what else does the clock have? The clock has two hands. Oh, wait a minute. I have two hands and I have a face. Am I a clock? No, silly Miss Anna. It's just, we just call them this way. So the clock has two hands and you may notice that one hand is longer than the other one. But let's talk about it later. Also, the clock has what? Look at these. What are these? Numbers. M wonderful. Numbers. The clock has numbers. So, the clock has number one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve. The clock has twelve numbers. Here it is. But my clock is missing a lot of things. First of all, what is it missing? Let's think. What is my clock missing? Numbers. That's right. So, I remember that it started from 1 and it went all the way to 12. Okay, so this is 12. So, I am missing 1 and then I have 3. So, what should I put here? Not 11. What's between 1 and 3? Yes, 2. So, 1, 2, 3, and then I have 6. So, I'm missing, what's after 3? Uh, 4. And what's after 4? It's not 6. Yes, it's 5. 5. I have 6. And then I have 9. So, I'm missing 2 numbers again. What's after 6? Seven. And what's after seven? Eight. Beautiful. Eight, nine, and then I have twelve. And I know that's that's it. I don't need any more numbers. But I need something between nine and twelve. What's after nine? What is the next number? That's right. Ten. Ten. And what's after 10 and before 12? 11. Okay, so I put the numbers on my clock. 
So here we are. That part is done. What else I'm what else am I missing? What else am I missing on my clock? What are these? Hands, right, hands. And there is one long hand and one short hand. So, have two hands here. So, a long hand is going to show us minutes. Can you all say minutes? Minutes, very good. And a short hand is going to show an hour or hours. And you probably noticed that the longer hand has a longer word. Minute is a longer word when you write it down. Hour, it says hour here, hour. Hour is a shorter word. Easy peasy. So shorter hand, shorter word. Longer hand, longer word. So we have two hands and I'm going to put the shorter one first. Hmm, let's make three o'clock. So I'm going to put the short hand at three because this short hand is going to show an hour and it's going to point at the number the same as the hour is, okay? So it shows three. And every time we have a full hour, like three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, the minute hand is going to show number 12. You just have to remember that, okay? So my longer hand, is showing number 12 and the shorter hand is showing number three so that means it's three o'clock i'm gonna write it down for you three o'clock okay let's move let's make another another hour how about showing this one what time it is oh let me get all right no reflection here what time it is here we have longer hand on number 12 and a longer hand show us a full hour, okay, when it's on number 12. And a shorter hand, so sorry about that. And the shorter hand points at what number? What is that number here, down here? Six, wonderful. So this is six o'clock. Let's make it on my clock. So... The longer hand stays on 12, and the shorter hand is going to point at 6. 6 o'clock, okay? What about this one? This, this is also a full hour. So the longer hand is pointing at number 12, beautiful. And the shorter hand is pointing at number eight. So that means what time it is? Uh, can you say it again? Eight o'clock, wonderful. So am I, I'm going to leave my longer hand pointing at 12 because I want to have a full hour and I'm going to move my shorter hand to number eight. Wonderful. This is eight o'clock. Okay. What about what about this one? What time it is?
That's right. It's ten o'clock. A shorter hand points at number ten, and longer hand points at number twelve. So I should just move this one, right? To what number? To make ten o'clock. Uh, here. That's right. To number ten. It's easy. It's really easy. You can now read the full hours. And full hour goes from, let's look at the 10 o'clock. So it's 10 o'clock and now a full hour goes from 10, the other way, this way, goes down and down the long hand, the minute hand is moving. Down, 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 and it landed at number 12 again, and that means that is 11. So between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock is just an hour. What about between 11 and 12? This clock is showing 11 o'clock. A shorter hand points at 11, and a longer hand points at 12. Every time the long hand points at 12, you need to remember that's a full hour. So now we're going to go from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So it, the long hand is moving, moving, moving down and down and down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here it is. Do you see that? Both hands are pointing 12. Why? Don't they have enough numbers to choose from? Why are they both pointing 12? Because the long hand points at 12 and shows the full hour. And the full hour in that case is 12. 12 o'clock. Both hands point at number 12. Okay? It's great, my friends. I think I think it's very it's easy to understand and try to read the full hours in your home. Um I I'm sure that you have a clock at home and whenever the longer longer hand points at 12 that means it's a full hour and now you just gotta take a look what the little hand is is it on number two two o'clock is it on number four four o'clock is it on number five five o'clock is it on number nine nine o'clock whoops sorry <laughs> or is it on number 11 11 o'clock what i would like you also to do after my lesson is to make a simple schedule of how your day looks like it doesn't have to be super detailed and it doesn't have to be um you don't have to write everything just choose like five things that you do during the day and look what time you do them and make a schedule for me. Like we have a schedule at school. We usually would put the lesson that we are doing in our schedule so we know what's happening. So this is how I would like you, my friends, to do it. So I'm gonna take my clock down because I don't need it anymore. Okay, you're going to start with writing your name, of course. So, we know whose schedule is that. So I'm Miss Anna, and I'm going to write Miss Anna. Okay? I want you to draw a line from the top to the bottom. Okay? And on the left side, you're going to write the, um, the time, the full hour. Uh, and even if it's not a full hour, just pick the the nearest full hour that you do this activity at, okay? So for example, I wake up at 
seven. So I'm going to write seven. And this is another way to write uh, the time. You just put two dots here, one and two, and you put zero, 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 zero. Seven, oh, maybe that other zero might be a little bit lower. Seven, I get up, I wake up. So I'm going to write. Get up. Get up. If you feel that writing is too difficult or you would prefer to draw, you can draw a picture. So this is my bed. And I am, let's see, I'm here and I'm stretching. You just say, I just got out of the bed. Right? And I'm yawning, and I have my hair, and the sun is shining outside. Okay? So, seven o'clock, when we say o'clock, that means it's a full hour. Seven o'clock, I get up. What do I do next? Well, I eat breakfast, and I brush my teeth, and I get dressed, but I'm not going to write all of it. I'm just going to jump to another to another thing maybe to 10 o'clock 10 o'clock i meet my students on zoom so we do the circle time so i'm going to write circle time circle time okay you might write it and add the picture you might just write it or you might just draw it. I'm going to add a picture. This is my computer and this is all your happy faces that I see every morning. Okay? While we do school on the computer. It looks different um, when we are in the classroom, of course. So 10 o'clock I meet my friends. And what else? Hmm, what time do I eat lunch? I think 12, 12, so it's one and two, two dots, zero, zero, lunch, l, a, n, ch, okay, I'm going to draw a plate with spaghetti and tomato sauce, okay, and I would like you to continue till you go to bed. Try to write as much as you can, because it's a good practice. Draw pictures. This is the way you write um, the time. So you write a number, two dots and zero, zero. So seven o'clock, my friends, seven o'clock on that clock would be time passes, time passes. And it moves and gets the sun goes down. Actually, okay, let's get it all here. So the longer hand points at number 12, that means that it's a full hour, and a shorter hand points at number seven. So this is seven. Seven o'clock, Miss Anna gets up. Hmm, circle time. We do it at 10 o'clock. So this one, this hand is going to stay at 12. But where is the little one going to go? That's right, number 10. This is 10 o'clock. And then 12 o'clock, this big hand is going to stay where it is. But the little hand is going to go up and meet the big hand at a number 12. So, my friends, this is your task for today. Please write a schedule of uh, your day. Um, write at least six things that you do during the day. Uh, don't write everything, just the, um, the most important uh, things. You can add when you play. You can add when you watch TV. You can add when you do your work. Uh, and also, don't forget to write when you go to bed. 
take a picture or ask your uh, parent or your grandparent or someone who can do it for you. Take a picture of that work and send it to your teacher. That's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, the lesson about time. And I have to really finish because I ran out of time. You see, I don't have any more time. Any any more time. So see you see you later, alligators.